Hi, I'm Jamie Rosenberg for the Center for Biosimilars, your resource for clinical, regulatory, business, and policy news in the rapidly changing world of biosimilars. Here are the top five biosimilars articles for the week of July 15, 2019. Number five, Coherus Biosciences says that six months after launching its biosimilar Pecfilgrastum, it has produced more than 400,000 syringes of the product. Number four, a rheumatology practice says that using a value-based pathway for rheumatoid arthritis has led to increased biosimilar use. Number three, recent research shows that the Bipartisan Budget Act resulted in a decrease in out-of-pocket spending for biosimilars, but out-of-pocket spending on specialty generics has risen. Number two, according to the Congressional Budget Office, enacting the Lower Healthcare Costs Act would reduce the deficit by more than $7 billion by 2029. Number one, Celtran announced that it is launching its first clinical trial of biosimilar CTP39 referencing Zolaire. The company plans to commercialize the biosimilar in 2022. Finally, last week, our e-newsletter asked whether you think that shifting away from buy and build practices for oncology drugs would help reduce costs. To view results of the poll, visit us on LinkedIn. To read all these articles and more, visit centerforbiosimilars.com.